Hey guys, Grass on here. Turn that aside a bit. Play more Stormbound. I'm recording this the previous day. Probably, depending, I guess, when this thing gets uploaded. Um. So, play 25 spells, um, spawn 15 token units, okay, and play 12 unit cards. Okay, simple enough. Let's open our daily pack. Do kind of like that one, but I believe it costs gems. Yeah. I think that's worth it, because for 80 I can... Like, for 20 I can get one epic. For 80 I can get six. Let's get our noble book as always, though. I'll probably get a crimson sentry, too. Okay, that's a good one, and that's an okay one. Getting the gift of recruits is good. Crimson Sentry's fine. Yeah, the um these guys. I need twelve to get them up up again, but then it goes four. So for only two costs, like four, a four or five strength guy is pretty good. So let's play with Quad Hero. Uh Quad has spawn things spawn token units. Um Tagor can Avian can um, Mech Workshop, of course, can, and so can Eric, and so can Summer Moshe. So, normal ranked. Mm -hmm. Smells not a bit weird. Hmm. Okay, so what's his first move? only got three, can't take forever. Mech workshop, hopefully you won't have execution right after that. Mech workshop on turn... I do usually prefer to go second. Oh, he did have it, shoot. I have freebooters and then some militia. I get rid of Eric. Edric. Okay. Strange beeping. Um, how is this interaction gonna go? They'll move forward. I'll move forward into them. I'll just have construct planers or scrap planers walk into them. And that'll do three damage and it'll give it'll he'll come back he'll still have two health. Or he'll gain two health from one. I'm hoping I can upgrade these guys at some point. That's not great. Good enough, he's only one strike now. So there isn't- he can't have a weaker unit. I can get Tegor to attack these guys. I can maybe reroll Flaming Stream. Oh no, that was a shit spot for him to respawn, because now there's- And he moves sideways, so the Avon Stalkers do almost nothing. One damage direct to the base, and that. I'll also be able to rush him with, with Tegor this, tu this turn. Because my guys will move up. I've got back to Edric and Ubas. I still haven't gotten the uh, mech workshop back yet, though. That's a good one, I'll just take it next turn, though.
Is there a way I can... I can't get Tigger in a good spot here. Execution can just kill him next time. Okay, good. I didn't want... I didn't want killing the one thing. Is there? No. I was hoping for, like, summon militia. So I can just execution her, the phoenix this time. Would have liked the guy on the left to survive, but I guess not. He's definitely got execution back here. I'm gonna wait for him. I'm gonna try and bait. I have to bait his execution or something. Once he uses execution, then I can use Mech Workshop. Otherwise, he's gonna kill it again. I know he has on hand. I think I can play Edric work Mech Workshop and Freebooters all this turn. Can't quite play Summon with it. He's also doing Freebooters. That is kind of where I preferred it. It makes it u the mech workshop useless next time, but it also prevents him from playing something directly in front of it. So I have Flaming Stream this turn, and I can also do Tegor. Um, is there anything I could do? Not unless I roll. Not unless I get the Freebooters or something back. I don't think I had twos in this deck, eh? So Flaming Stream would bring me down to seven. I could play one of the fours, but then again, I can't play anything else. Yeah, of course, he just... Oh, wrong one. I'm hoping for the death damage. Oh no, shoot, I should've... Yes, that actually worked out. I should've flaming streamed, I realized. Yeah, I realized I should have flaming streamed, but that worked anyways, and he doesn't have his execution. So, that's one token units, and these will keep spawning token units. Oh shit. I probably should have put. I should have done overchargers. Uh, the overchargers first. I could have had the, had the avians move up, and then they wouldn't have been able to actually spawn a unit on a bordering tile. No, so they could have still spawned someone behind. I could potentially execute them if they put them on the guy on the tile behind. So listen here, if they spawn on the tile behind, avians move up, the new mechs block them, I flaming stream to do 4 damage, or no, I execute, and then I flaming stream. Fuck. Right, he still has this turn.
There's just a three, and then they'll just die after this turn. So I can get Construct, Raven, and Elder. There we go, that's one more damage to the base. I only need a... One Overchargers and one Tegor. Oh shit, they have Vitalize. Um, it's fine, he's only one now. But he is gonna keep getting stronger, so I just have to Flaming Stream that row. He can't actually put anything in the frontmost rows either, he has to go through one of those guys first, before he can block my Mech Factory. Mech Workshop. Alright, unless he has something with two speed, it also doesn't work, he'll just get stuck there. That's fine, I, I hate Elders. I like Elders, but I hate Elders. If you know what I mean. Um, I don't think the Mech Workshop here is very good. Where's the militia go? And I can't actually do my quirk shot this turn anyway. I was thinking of like putting it on um, where that this one elder is now, putting in that tile. So what's the play? We have Tegor. We don't have overchargers. If if the phoenixes can move up, if the one phoenix can move up again, I'm probably gonna try and take over the base. That only actually blocks that. I could just take over there. I could actually I can construct planers there, scrap planers. Not anymore. Okay, that's one respawning. Mine will move up. There will move up, but this isn't. But it wouldn't be a weaker unit. So it's fine. Fuck. And now they just die. That's probably actually a better spot for, um, Edric. Try and force him to have to play something. I have overchargers this turn. I'm still at max health, but he's right up against my base. But a whole lot of guys with death effects, so I think I'm winning. But I'm always worried he's gonna pull something out of his pocket. Does he have crazy bombers again? Crazy bombers in the bottom right above the elder would be really bad. It could re it could make the um is it bordering that it does the damage? What's he taking here? Avians, yeah, it's probably the best. It's going to be pushed back and then execute. That was the fucking worst one. He only needs to make those take one damage and they just reset now. The plan is we panic him. One, two, three, four. Can I give it more? One, two, three, four. No. Here works though. Okay, push back for four deals with it now. Flaming, okay, flaming stream next turn gets rid of the Avians. We not even have time for another game. These games last. These games take a long time. It can be to surrounding. Spread around surrounding enemies. By fuck. That was the worst one for Tiger to fucking buff. I only need two more damage now, though. 
only got nine more this turn, and the mech workshop will actively destroy him here. He has to fight it, fight it. Yeah. I just needed a unit with speed that cost four less. Because Eric didn't have speed and the mech and the um, mech thing would have cost too much. Games are always close. They can those games can flip on like an, in an instant. Let's go with the Raven deck now. Try one with that and see if we can actually have enough time. Here we go. Okay. I'm starting... I don't have anything good to start with. I always prefer to go second. I could have... If I had gone second, I could have possibly... Well, no, not possibly marked his prey. I could have possibly confined if he played something somehow with five cabin girls or something. I could have executed. Yeah, I think seven militia, the answer is just execution. Reroll confinement, execute, done. Too bad you can't execute your own guy. I know it would seem like kind of pointless, why would you want to deal 5 damage to your own guy, but can sometimes be useful to resummon, to make a force a phoenix to respawn or something, or to manual, or purposely kill a Tegor. I think it should just, you should be allowed to use the spell on whoever. You should also be allowed to like set the damage. Oh shit. You know, I'm fucked here. That's gonna go up too fast, that's gonna go up to- it's currently 6, it'll go up to 8 and I'll be able to perfectly curse the strings it. I could also mark this prey at this next turn, which might be better. And then it's just the frozen core growing, which is debatably worse. But I would also stop him from getting super advanced. I think you should be, like, allowed to choose, like, some of the settings, like, um, for the Azura Hatchers, well, not for the Azura Hatchers, like, for the Feral Shaman, instead of draining 4 strength, what if it only drained 3 strength, and what if it only drained, or, like, is that a level? I've only got mine level 2, so yeah, what if it just, what if you were allowed to set it to level 1 so it would only drain 3 strength? Some sort of, like, stat stuff like that, because sometimes it's, it's better to, like, only drain a, a smaller amount. Um, certain cards, it's like having less strength might be better, so it allows you to convert it with higher strength. So instead of just like leveling up and making the card different, how about you were allowed to like choose which level you wanted, and you could un unlock different level tiers of what you wanted. When attacking, gain 4 mana. I think I'm gonna curse that. Might be a very fast game here, because he's kinda screwed now. I'm probably gonna avian up against his, um, pole. His mana pole. Fuck that card. Three strength, and it reduces them by so much. That's such a bullshit card. That card is such bullshit. I mean, I know it's nine cost, but still. It just, in pretty much a nine, it just will, it will kill any two cards that are, like, of a, of a certain strength. What do I do here? Oh shit, fuck. That's not what I meant to do. Fuck. I was expecting to be able to witches and kill this thing. I would have preferred to witches and then clerics to steal these guys. And just let the other ones go. They would have just been buffed. Ugh. I'm fucked here, I'm gonna lose this one. Is he gonna play?
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally fucked here. There's nothing I can do. Like I can reroll that, execute, and then witches, and that's all. I, that's all I can do. And that doesn't even get me anywhere near catching up. Like this turn, what am I gonna have? Confinement, confinement, blood ministers, confinement, salty. Confinement salty would kill all of his guys, but he's gonna have this whole turn before me too. If I got another turn now, that would almost set us even. Except I would have a one health salty, the three health V's, and he'd have the five strength frozen core. But he's getting a whole other turn, so I'm a turn behind him. The best pay play is confine salty outcasts, but still, like again, he's up the two po posts, which are giving him mana. So I'm down health. He's up mana because of the posts. He's also up space. Again, like at this point, if it were my turn, it would probably be even. But since it's his turn. I'm still probably about to turn behind. He's taking a long time to decide stuff, too. I do have all the stealing stuff this turn, so maybe I can steal his things and then... Hopefully he plays something big. That's just bullshit. That's just six damage. He's still up all the buildings. He's up three spaces because I can't just I can't I just can't destroy those buildings. I need to I need to beat the hearth this turn, but I don't have anything with enough speed. The only thing I have have actually with speed is these guys. I can reroll clerics. I this deck is bad against buildings because it's meant to fight troops. It's got execution, but I haven't been rolling execution enough. The cards in the deck are somewhat randomized. Oh, that's bullshit. Can I take that? I can steal that with strings. It's my, probably my best play. Steal that with strings, reroll clerics. That actually works out. My guy gets stronger. And I destroy the hearth. He's still up way too much mana, though. He's up four mana. He has the... So, I'm down a lot of health. He only needs to be halfway for Siren to kill me right now. I can't let him get half... I can't let him start his turn halfway. Otherwise, Siren of the Seas just kills me. Even if it attacks one unit, it still kills me. That card's way too strong. I thought Rhymelings didn't move. Play gain 3 mana. Since when do they have speed? Oh. Fuck. I'm gonna die here. Oh, that's such bullshit. I think this is just surrender. If I can't- if I can- if I could rush him this turn? Like that's my, I think that's my only play, rush him. I can try and blood ministers bottom I can try and blood ministers bottom middle right. Blood ministers bottom middle right will take two of his guys. I don't like yeah, I've just lost because of salty. GG. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hang on! Remember to like and content, feel free. Remember to like and content, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!